Hello everyone, I am Pallavi and today I am going to demonstrate H5 personalization in InforM3. InfoR H5 personalization provides flexibility to users to present M3 user interface in a more user-friendly manner. Using H5 personalization, users can change the way a program appears. Thus, it enhances UI experience and reduces user efforts. Some of the commonly used M3 personalizations are hyperlinks. It helps to reactivate other program functions from within a program function. Conditional styles. Conditional styling enables alternate display of fields using changed text, colors, and icons. Shortcuts are a quick link to actions, related options, and links within a program function. Labels can be adjusted on the grid view and also the full panel view within a program function. The show and hide fields helps us to show or hide essential fields and labels that might not be useful or that are useful to a particular business program tab orders, the order in which the cursor first appears and the path between different fields can be modified using tab orders, and scripts. H5 scripts can be executed on a panel load using personalization. Now, to demonstrate how personalization looks and feels in the M3 environment, let me take an example. Let me take an example of the balance identity program function. As you can see, I have already signed into my M3 environment and I'm using my program function of balance identity. By using related options, shortcuts, hyperlinks, and conditional styling, let us see how we can present our inventory information in a more intuitive manner. As you can see in the grid view, or this table column, there are certain column values that are highlighted in blue and have an underline beneath them when I hover over them. This is because these column values have been hyperlinked to some other related option or some other program functions which could be really useful for the user to navigate to to retrieve certain information about the particular item. If I take the example of an item number, you can see that this item number has been linked to stock transaction history. Thus, by a simple click of your mouse, you can re-transfer to the stock transfer display history program function and have a look at all the different transactions that have taken place for the particular item number. Moving back, let us see that on the right hand side there are certain related options that can be quickly accessed with a click. These related options have been placed here using the shortcut personalization. As you can see on my screen, there are certain priority dates in the priority date column that have been highlighted in different colors. This is done by using conditional styling. Therefore, by using conditional styling, I can use different colors to give me the information about when a particular product in my inventory is going to expire, or when their exp expiry date is approaching, or if they have been already expired. The red color tells us if a product has expired, the yellow provides an information about whether the expiry date of the product is approaching and the green tells us that the expiry date of the product is in the near future. Thus, by a look or, at a, or a glimpse at the priority date, a user can tell which are the following inventory items that should be used on which priority basis. Personalization can be accessed using the tools function on the menu bar. Personalizations can also be managed at a global level or a role-based level 
or at a user level. However, to have a homogeneous environment and provide all the users with the same personalization, a best practice would suggest using personalization at a global level. Therefore, by the end of this video, we have learned about how personalization helps us to organize and present M3 information in a more intuitive and presentable format. It helps end users to quickly access different program functions, highlight important information with conditional styling, and present only those fields and tabs that are essential to a particular program function depending upon the business process while filtering out not important information. For more information about how to set up personalizations or to manage personalizations, reach out to us on the email address given in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for your time.